Good morning, good morning again. Some of y'all are gonna come to find out that y'all was crying and stretching, stressing over somebody who was having orgies, threesomes on the down low, full of STDs, just was out here sleeping with all kind of people, meeting up with people on the dating sites, flying to Vegas, flying this place, flying that place to go and have sex with people, and that's the people y'all was crying over. Child, listen, I'm so happy that my collective, my people who watch me, my my soul tribe have stepped into their rightful position. I'm so happy that they have got themselves up and out of that low vibrational stuff, way of thinking, playing the victim, doing all the rest of that. Because baby, I was about to get hit with that okie doke. They still might try to spin the bin and try to hit y'all with that okie doke. Y'all don't sleep with nobody. Man, I don't care how long you've been knowing these people. I don't care if you got a, I don't care how many children you got with these people. I don't care if you married to these people. Man, listen, take these people to the doctor. You heard me? Take them straight to the physician. Don't take them to no health unit. Take them straight to the physician and get them a full body workout, bro. If anybody come in your life, new, old, whatever, man, y'all need to get some labs, some CBCs, some CMTs. Y'all need some, some, uh, y'all need some lab works, just period. Y'all need some lab works, some blood to be drawn because these people, I'm hearing orgies. Man, them people is crazy, bro. Listen, let me, let me, let me, let me say this right here. Women, man, listen, your body is a temple. You can't share your 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 sexual energy with just any and every body. Any and everybody shouldn't have access to your wound, bro. They shouldn't be able to have access to your wound. They shouldn't be have able to have access to your energy. They shouldn't be able to have access to none of this stuff. A lot of y'all just out here just giving y'all pum pum away just freely. You heard me? Huh, you want this pum pum? Take it. <laughs> it's yours. You can have it. Y'all just giving y'all stuff out here freely. You know these men, they gonna be men. They gonna they like slinging they thing like water. But you ladies, you gotta know y'all worth, man. Y'all can't be out here sleeping with each and everybody. You know what I'm saying? You can't be doing that, bro. Have some self respect for yourself. Have some self respect for your body. Your body is a temple, man. Love yourself, bro. Love yourself enough to know, like, let me tell you something. Cause a real man. Who really, really love you will never question you and ask you to bring another man or woman to their bedroom. They won't do that. Have respect for yourself. Have respect for yourself. Some type of respect. That's why a lot of times these men don't choose you because you're not down with anything. You're going to ride for a certain thing. Your bedroom, your bedroom is for you and your partner. It's not for you, your partner, his partner, and her girl. It's not for that. It's between two intimate, two intimate, intimacy uh, moments, two intimate moments between two people, two people that love each other, that's coming together to create something so good and make something so magical. You giving your pum pum to his partner. You giving the pum pum to the man down the street. You giving the pum pum to everybody. You heard me? Y'all flipping and slipping and flipping and flipping. Come on, man. It's not. That's not how they go. Having multiple parties, multiple um, uh, having multiple sex things, having multiple meeting up on date sites. You heard me going, going, going. Meet this person, going find that person. Just spreading STDs all around, bro. Spreading STDs all around. That's why it's good for y'all. Listen, people laugh at me because I write everything down. See, when I was, I'm celebrating now, but when I was active and when I was messing with somebody, man, I, I wrote down the position, how many skeets, how many squirts, how many whatever. You heard me? I'm writing all that down. <laughs> you got to keep track of everything, bro, because you, to get yourself caught up. Because if you know, if you know you only been with one person, you know what I'm saying? And that person try to come and say something. Well, look, partner, we been this, this, and this, and this, and this. That's why, y'all, that's why it's good for you women to stay going to the doctor. Stay getting your body checked at all times, your blood work checked. You understand what I'm saying? You got to learn how to stay going to the... Man, I love the doctor. You know what I mean? The doctor, friends, I got the doctor person a cell phone number. That's how, that's how much these people see me. Because I'm going to I'm going to see about my body. Only reason I'm going to see my, I'm going to see about it because I love myself and plus I have children to live for. I have children to live for, so I'm going to see. I'm going to make sure I don't have no cholesterol, no high blood pressure, no STDs, no none of that. And 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 listen, I ain't going to sit here and lie. I, I, I didn't mess with somebody moving reckless out here in these streets. But when I tell you God has kept me, 
his grace and his mercy. I made a find out after the fact. You heard me? I found out after the fact that they was moving so reckless in these streets. But God still kept me. He didn't allow no harm, no danger to come to my womb. He didn't allow none of that. And I'm grateful. I'm so grateful for that. Because I could have got myself caught up. You heard me? I couldn't have been here for my kids. I could have been walking around taking big horse pills and all the rest of that. But God. And some of y'all need to start thanking him for getting y'all out of situations, circumstances where you wasn't infected. Because they was trying to infect you. They wasn't trying to impact your life. They didn't want you to go nowhere. They didn't want nobody else to have you. You heard me? So what they were trying to do was infect you with something so you could sit still while they go out here and infect multiple other people. Then y'all come back together. Y'all come back together and infect together the effect each other together and be the best of friends hold on you guys turn the air off and then y'all come back together and y'all be the best of friends that's what they was trying to do they really wanted to infect you they really wanted to make sure that your life oh uh, do get up now Right now, y'all got leak test and I forgot. Get up now. And dress now. Sorry, you guys. Forgot my kids got leak testing this week. So, uh, yeah, that's what happened. You know, y'all, God saved y'all from a lot of things. So, continue to be safe and continue to thank him for saving y'all. And, cause, and, and, you know, listen, if y'all know somebody who who got contracted some and sick, you know, pray for them. You know what I'm saying? Pray they get the help that they need. They go get some medicine that they need. And, and they're not one of the ones that's around here spreading stuff around trying to affect everybody. Well, it's your girl, Bree. Thank you, guys, for listening. Thank you for all the love and support. I appreciate each and every one of y'all for showing me love and support on my page. Peace.